one of the questions that we ask all our students when they start the program is how is performance healing? And I, I define performance in a very broad way. It's not just getting up on a stage and creating a play for an audience. Performance might be a moment of just being part of a group and getting up in front of a group and telling a story or reenacting a scene from one's past life. For me, performance is healing because A, it separates a person out from their everyday reality into sort of this fictional reality, this theatrical reality, and B, it allows people to tell their story or enact their problem through their body, through their words, through their movement and so forth, through their sound, uh, through their metaphors, in a safe way, and be witnessed by an audience. Here's the thing about drama therapy that's so special. Generally speaking, in drama therapy, we give people an opportunity to be actors, that is to not be themselves. And that's what creates the safe distance to retelling the story of a trauma. There's a difference between saying to you, for example, I, I'm a young man living in, in Libya, and I witnessed this terrible civil war. In drama therapy, I would say to somebody, don't tell me that story directly, but take on the role of someone that you are not. Take on the role of maybe the aggressor. How would he tell the story? By doing that, people are able to approach the trauma from a safe distance because it's not their story, they're an actor. So after, after that story is told, then I say to somebody, okay, now what does that story have to do with your life? What feelings do you have in your own life that are very much like that? How are you afraid of hurting other people? So in working through the metaphor, in working through the role, we try to protect people from feelings that might be too hard for them to deal with. People work in drama therapy through a fiction. And sometimes it's not just a story told, sometimes it's an act, it's done with the body. Sometimes it's just done in movement. And, and, and again, we're trying to get people to go into this very imaginative place in their psyche and to discover something that they probably wouldn't discover if they would just talk. It goes beyond words, it goes beyond language. And then later, when they reflect upon it, they put language to it. In therapy, in one-to-one, -one, the client performs, the therapist witnesses. Just like in the theater, the actor performs, the audience witnesses. And the witnessing in therapeutic theater is a very open witnessing. It's a very accepting, uh, non-critical witnessing. Non-critical in the sense that nobody is criticized for getting up there and exposing themselves and opening up their story. The critical perspective comes in later when one thinks about what one has done up on the stage. What was the value of this experience? So after the performance and after the witnessing, the client or the performer steps back and reflects upon it. How does your feedback help me understand better what I was doing and what I needed to do? And at the end of the process, when it works well, there is a moment of shift or change sometimes. When the person is able to see themselves differently or change some behaviors, and there is some kind of a change or a shift. And even in our training program at NYU, which is very, very experiential, it's not just theoretical, which it is, but in addition, people go through a deep experiential process themselves where they learn what drama therapy feels like from the inside. They also learn more about who they are in the world and how they can affect other people.